Hey everyone, thanks for joining today. I'm going to show everyone how to geo-reference a JPEG image in ArcGIS Pro. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right in. i got a project ready already. Let's go to base maps, select imagery, and go to add data, data, you're just going to want to navigate to wherever your JPEG is that you're trying to geo-reference. So I've got it selected here. Click OK. All right, so I've got my JPEG added here. It's like a raster file. And then, of course, I've got the world imagery layer. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom to layer. And here's my picture. It's basically uh, a Port of Houston and this is like kind of the eastern southeastern part of Houston here so anyways moving on you're going to want to click the imagery tab and over here on the left side you can see there's geo reference click on that and then we're just going to add some control points which there's a link right here add control points and you want to start with your source file which is the jpeg that you're trying to geo reference so when you add control points, I would suggest finding something kind of prominent that's easy to find. I like this little boot shape thing here. I'm just going to add a point right to the tip of it. And then you can zoom to layer whatever it is that, that's already geo-referenced. You want to head to that next. This is obviously a really large base map, so i got to kind of find where Houston is. It's right here and zoom down and click as close as you can to that same point and usually it takes uh, about two or three uh, control points to kind of get things close and really after two or three it's it's almost spot on um, in most cases some people might find that they have to add six or ten or however many control points you think it takes to correctly align uh, your your JPEG image to what you're trying to do. So I like to turn off my base map layer so I can focus solely on again the JPEG to find my next control point. So I kinda like this spot jutting out right here. Just gonna click right on the tip of that. Again you want to start with your source, the JPEG, first. And then I want to turn on this layer, turn off this one, and find that same spot, which is right here. And once I turn on this, this JPEG layer, you'll notice they're pretty well aligned after even just two control points. One thing you can do is come up to Appearance for that layer. Actually, this is world imagery. I want to click on my JPEG, come up to appearance, and turn on effects. You can scroll this or toggle this right here, and it obviously turns up and down the transparency of this layer. And then probably only need like one or two more control points to get this pretty spot on because you can you can tell turn it up some more. You can see that things are pretty close, like these roads and everything are kind of lining up. But let me go ahead and find a, like a major intersection over here on this kind of western portion. Let's see. Like the, the intersection of, this is the 610 loop, and what is this, Highway 225. So just right in the middle of those, I'm going to put a control point. And you can see it's practically I mean it's almost perfectly lined up already so I'll go ahead and just put one there just because and then I'm I'm, I'm just gonna kind of search around for for inaccuracies for stuff that could use a little more dialing in I kind of like to look on the edges to see if roads and bodies of water and things of that nature are lining up correctly. You can see right here this this looks pretty oh wait, never mind. Uh, right here this looks pretty good. 
Yeah, so overall, this road is lining up nicely. Overall, that looks pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, once you've got enough control points and you feel good about everything, you want to go up to Geo Reference tab, which is on the far left. Click that. And this step's really important. You want to save your Geo Referencing, otherwise, you'll lose everything. And then you can go ahead and close Geo Reference. And let me go ahead and take off this base base map, turn the transparency back down. I can see what I'm looking at. And that's pretty much it. This this image is now georeference. If I wanted to export this and um, someone was using it in the field as an Avenza map or something, they would be able to see where they are. Everything is georeference and, and good to go. So hopefully this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we've got more stuff coming. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.